Ramblin' Man here. Okay, so I'm out here driving, so you know, forgive me for not looking at you the whole time. Now I have a question for you. How many of you watch those true crime videos? The reason I ask is my wife is infatuated with them. I'm a little concerned because, you know, she's figuring out all the things you can't get away with and all the things you can. Because I know, if y'all have dealt with this at all, you know by watching those things, you find out where they dump bodies, and you're like, that's the stupidest thing. I never knew that before. And my other question is, how many of y'all actually watch this stuff? I used to be like, hey, it's, it's okay. No, now I'm hooked too. So we're watching this all the time. You know, if I was going to kill somebody, you know what I would do with the body? What would you do with the body? Well, you know, because you want to find these things out. Because all I know is they are giving us more and more material in order to kill someone. I'm just saying, if you wanted to put someone away, you can find out all the ways not to do it and what things can get away with. And then you find out, you know, if I could have done this, if you piece all these different true crimes together, you really could get away with murder. And they even have a show called How to, How to Get Away with Murder. You know what I'm talking about. So let me know, do you watch these things and what is the draw for it? Why do we as a nation, as a nation, because you know we're all watching them, why do we feel like, you know what? I want to hear about it. I want to see about it. It's terrible. I can't believe it, but I want to see it. So let me know what you think. Random Man, out.